Welcome to part 5 of the audio visualization tutorial in Unity by Pearplay. In the previous part we divided our spectrum into 8 frequency bands, but we are not quite there yet. We will now implement a buffer to the value that creates a smooth downfall when the amplitude is lower than its previous value. This will result in a less shocking and more smooth behavior of our values. So let's start by going over to our audio pair class. We will create a new static float and we'll call this one the band buffer. So every time that the frequency band is higher than the band buffer, the band buffer becomes the frequency band. And if the frequency band is lower than the band buffer, then the band buffer should decrease by a certain speed. So for that we need another float. And we'll make this a private float. And we'll call this buffer decrease. And it's also a new float of a length of 8. Now let's create a new void. And we'll call this void band buffer. And let's do the same to add it to the update. And inside the band buffer we will start a new for loop. Now we need to make two if statements. If the frequency band is higher than the band buffer and if the frequency band is lower than the band buffer. So if is higher than band buffer. Let's copy paste this. If it's lower than so if the frequency band is higher than the band buffer, then we want the band buffer to become the frequency band. So band buffer is the frequency band. And if the frequency band is lower than the band buffer, then we want the band buffer to decrease. So we'll say the band buffer minus is the buffer decrease that we made. Now if it's higher than the band buffer we have to declare the speed on which we will decrease the band buffer width so we have to say that the buffer decrease is a certain number and here if it's lower then we have to say that the buffer decrease will become a higher and higher number so it will fall down faster and faster. Let's say the buffer decrease is 0 0.005 and here we want to increase this number so we'll say the buffer decrease times is and I'll say here 1.2 so every frame uh, here this number of 0 0.005 will be increased by 20%. Now I've tested out these numbers already and it gives me quite a good look but you can of course make these numbers higher or lower. Now this is all there is to the script and we can save the script and return to Unity. Unity gave me an error because I forgot to make this an array of floats so let's change that and save it again. Now let's visualize our results, but we can't yet do that because our parametric cubes are still using the frequency bands and not the buffers. So let's change this script to work with the buffers. And let's make a public boolean to specify whether to use the buffer or not. So let's make a boolean uh, use buffer. and for that we are going to make an if statement if um, use buffer is true and also if the buffer is false if it's false then we're going to use the frequency band and if it's true then we are going to use the band buffer and now let's save this and go back to unity 
now you can see here the use buffer boolean to check on or off so we will select all our cubes and we will check it on now to show you the difference between the buffer or no buffer we'll duplicate this I'll put it here let's um, make these use no buffer and I'll change the material so we can see the difference between the no buffer or the use of buffers so let's check out our results as you can see the values with the buffer are going very smoothly opposing to the values without buffer that are going up and down very very rapidly so these are four different implementations in your game and in the next part we will create values between 0 and 1 that we can use to apply to a lot of different outputs into our game. So thank you for watching this uh, tutorial part and please don't forget to like or subscribe and I'll see you in the next part.